Hello ball bags, hope you're well. Welcome to uh, another frame of me one versus me two snooker. It's frame 130, it's a crucial frame in this that could decide the eventual winner of this tournament. As That's true of all the frames really, they could do that. It's hard to say until we know when it's going to end, but um, none of us will be here on this side of the camera when it does end. But you may be, you may get to see the final result and Good luck to you if you do. Thank you to Welsh Blokes. Just subscribed at Tier 1 for 22 months. Is that possible? Is it possible that I've been twitching for 22 months? What a waste of my life this has been. Uh, thank you very much for subscribing, Welsh Bloke. I think that's with your own money as well, which is insane. Do use uh, Amazon's money to subscribe, like Colby and Cheddar has just done, and John L 28 just have. A uh, 23-month streak for John L28. So that implies to me that it's been going longer than 22 months. That seems it's like we've been going for almost two years. Loads of people coming through. Wow. Thanks, guys. Uh, Bank77, Ziggy Starbunny, Fesbian. What's going on? Where's all these... What's happening here? That I've, we've just made like about £12.50 for making more podcasts and stuff right there. Uh, anyway, this is um, a continuing uh, contest. <clears throat> it's been very exciting in uh, recent weeks. Uh, just if you're interested in football, I know there's a lot of sports fans watching. Dundee are playing Dundee today. I approve. It's currently 0-0. One of them's called Dundee United. But I suppose that's at me one and me two. Hiberian and Hearts, I think that's the same place. 0-0. Uh, St. Johnston's 1-0 up at Livingston. Ross County nil, Aberdeen nil. These are just current scores. These aren't final scores. St Mirren nil, Motherwell nil. In the championship, it's Millwall nil, Preston nil, Swansea nil, Luton nil. Boo, Luton. Oh, League One. Some the goals have been flying in. Wimbledon a one nil up against Cheltenham. Doncaster a one nil down at home against Rotherham. Uh, Gillingham crew nil nil. Sheffield Wednesday, Morecambe nil nil. Wigan versus Oxford United nil nil. Bolton Cambridge that does not start. Well, it's just started. It's nil nil. Just to say started. Uh, League Two. Bradford nil, Leighton Orient nil. Latest scores, this is 15, 16 minutes into the game. Colchester nil, Rochdale nil. Harrogate nil, Mansfield nil. Northampton nil, Barrow nil. Port Vale are 1-0 up against, that's the only goal in this uh, League 2, Forest Green. Uh, Forest Green, I believe, are top. So that's a, that's a good score for old, the old Valies, as they're called. Uh, Salford nil, Carlisle nil, <laughs> Swindon nil, Crawley nil, Tranmere nil, Stevenage, um, local team. Another local team. I don't. I don't hate them like I hate Steve Luton though. Nil. Um, the National League South End are beating Barnet one nil. Yeovil versus Weymouth. Big local derby. Uh, Weymouth are one nil up. Uh, National League North. Chester nil. Bradley Town nil. Kettering nil. Southport one. Kidderminster nil. Leamington nil. York City of course play in that league. Um, and oh, I'm doing particularly well. Could go down to be honest. So a lot of nil-nils going in. If any more goals come in while we're uh, while we're on air, I will try to let you know. Just have a look through. No, no more goals at the moment, but I will try to keep you updated on the sports because I know you'll be. If I don't do it, you'll be just going to CFAX and looking at the scores, wouldn't you? Because that's the way it, that it goes. Um, thank you to M My Groves, subscribe with Prime for sixteen months. In incredible uh, commitment. Thank you very much, everyone who still subscribes. Um, become a badger at gofasterstrike.com past badges if you want to give us some actual money of your own and we will put that towards making more podcasts things are going quite nicely so you know don't worry about it too much anyway we I did, first of all look just check any more were Rotherham beating Doncaster a minute ago I don't know I think they were just checking there's nothing yeah no no more goals National League South Dartford nil Ebbsfleet nil Dorking Wanderers Get, just stay in Dorking mate Nil, Oxford City, nil. Hampton and Richmond, nil. And Eastbourne, Borough. That, that must be the poshest game of football that's going on tonight. Uh, one nil up the Eastbourne, Borough. Good luck to Eastbourne, Borough in that. Uh, the World Cup qualifying Asia. Lebanon, one. Iraq, one. That is a result. Syria, nil. I'm not doing results. These are all results. Well done to Aman, who've uh, drawn two all with Australia. Um, Jose Ruiz Bayos Calatravino's uh, family got to say they did not want the arena named after him. There are a few choices today. One of them is someone who's issued quite a lot of fatwas in their time that someone was encouraging me to name the arena after. I'm not sure that's a good idea. 
Um, Tito Stagno is the, who I'm getting the Italian journalist. Tito Stagno. He would go Tito Stagno. That was what he's, that he was famous for. That was his column every week. Tito Stagno. He didn't like uh, deers of any kind, especially male deers, but he loved tits. Oh, he made, they made him go, oh. That's, uh, that was what he was known for. Uh, if we find out, he might have some followers who will kill me for doing that. Uh, so, um, people calling for let the snooker do the talking. I agree. Let's. It, well, look, last week we played two frames. Uh, Honours were even. Um, me, one, won the first frame. I oh, know, did it? Did it? Me, two, won the first frame. And me, one, won the second frame. That's what happened there. Um, so briefly, me too was seven frames ahead. I didn't realise that. And uh, then me one came back almost exactly the same score. Uh, and so it's six frames ahead for a me too. Let's see how me one's feeling about his chance today. Could be a very important day in terms of work. There was a lot of controversy actually about referee one last week. They, they, they allowed the frame to carry on when one of the balls was off the table. Uh, the board, sorry. And also... Um, players were touching the balls all the time not getting penalised for it uh, there's been a statement from the self-playing snooker federation uh, chairman he's, he's here he's just in actually in the other room there to just on the other chair there sorry to say uh, we here at the self-playing snooker federation we t take um, our referee referees very seriously and they have to be good or they're fired into the heart of the sun we have full confidence in referee one and we will be watching closely to see how he gets on this week. And if he makes mistakes, the rocket is ready to go. That's all I'm saying. But we have full confidence that he won't, we will not need to use it. Thank you there. That's uh, uh, me, Harris, the, uh, to the chairman of the self Plains Snooker Federation. Making a very important statement. I know a lot of people are very upset about last week's results. Uh, let's talk to me one, see how he feels about how things are going. Oh, yeah, no, we'll do that first. Uh, me one, you're just sitting there, aren't you? Yes, I'm ready to go, Rich. Here I am. Um, I've got something important to say about this week's frame. Uh, I'm talking to Vladimir Putin here, um, and I want you to know that if you invade the Ukraine, Vladimir Putin, I will no longer play snooker in this uh, podcast and this live stream I will um, absent myself from this I will withdraw from the competition so the ball's in your court mate I know there's a lot of Russian fans watching this uh, 134 viewers probably 127 of those are in Russia and it's a big sport over there it's the, it's the national sport over in Russia and I don't know if you want to make yourself unpopular feel free but it'll be me too versus someone else if uh Russia invades Ukraine. That is my. I'm, I'm talking strong, like Boris Johnson. Not, I don't. You know, I'm kind of slightly regret nailing my colours to his mast, but you know, he's doing a good job out there in Russia, and he. Um. So. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. That's all I've got to say this week, Rich. You just you just laying down an ultimatum to the president of Russia, that um, that you won't play. I guarantee I will not play. So keep out of Ukraine, mate. If you've if you value yourself playing snooker, I mean, there's a lot of other players will step in. I don't think, I think, you know, it needs to be me one versus me two for this bit. So. Well, strong political stuff. Uh, not not much to say about the game and the controversies, but let's, me two sitting down. How do you feel, me two? Um, I feel that uh, if, like, I want to have a message for Vladimir Putin. Oh, yeah. If you don't invade the Ukraine, I, I'm going to not play snooker again so choice is yours mate well there's uh, two ultimatums there to, from me one and me two uh, I don't know if they'll follow them through I feel like me two is just being a bit sarcastic um, I hate the Ukraine and I think it should be part of Russia that is my that is my <laughs> okay well uh, the political views of the players are not shared by me um, and if there are any Ukrainian viewers watching probably about seven Ukrainian, Ukrainian viewers uh, uh, you know, we're staying, I'm staying um, uh, out of it. Probably I'm on your side if I, if I was forced to come down because, you know, Putin seems like quite a bad guy. Well, it, whatever. 
All right, well, we've got the the uh, the, the gauntlet has been laid down. Let's uh, only now remains to turn to Sybil, my uh, the uh, my fortune telling oracle who can predict the results. Uh, Sybil, who will win today? Oh, hello, Richard. It is I, Sybil. Oh, I can see the future and the past and the present together. No one is more cursed than me. Oh, Lord, why have you given me these powers? I am present in every second at every event in every place. And yet I can change nothing. Yeah, all right, all right. What's the results going to be? I predict me to win like 27 points. Uh, I should point out Sybil called both uh, frames last week wrong. If you if you missed it, if you missed it last week, sorry for the shock there seeing Sybil. Um, but uh, but then the, we know if you have to understand her powers. So 27 points to me too. I think that was 27 point win. We'll see if that comes true. Uh, now it's time to go over to commentator one, commentator two, in the T Tito Stagno Tit All Stagno Arena. <laughs> Great journalist he was. If you like tits and stags, and now if you liked tits and hated stags, he was a great journalist. If you felt any differently, it was a problem. Some people are coming in saying it's pronounced Tito. My producer Terry's in my ear saying it's pronounced Tito. It's not, it's not how it was written, is it? Is it funny to mock other languages for being different than ours? Yes, it is. It's very funny. Okay, put your bets on. Here we go. It's all about... Hello, Richard. Here we are. There, we're getting that nice shot. Can just see you in the leaning back in your chair there, Richard. Yeah, you're just waving. That's nice. Um, here we are at the uh, Tito Stagno Arena. Um, hopefully his family will not be offended by what Richard just said. And um, very important frame, this six frames ahead to Me Too. Me Too will, is at, coming up to the hockey. It will be him who breaks. He's going to just turn, referee one's just going to turn the light on above the... There we go, that's a bit better. It's a bit more light now. Me Too. Is that all right there? I've got this... Hopefully the... Uh, let me know if the microphone isn't working. Um, me too. He's off. He's gone in off. He's potted a red. What a start. Two balls down in one shot. Unfortunately, one of them was the white. And me one leaps into a four-point lead without even having stepped up to the hockey. He's at the hockey now, though. He fancies his chances. Long red into the top left. He's got it. He's come down for and beautifully onto the black. This could be a clearance from here. Me one needs this. Oh! The black ball went towards the pocket, teetered on the edge like a prime minister who looked like he was going to have to resign and then fell into the abyss like a prime minister who had resigned. That hasn't happened in the real world, of course. Uh, me, one now, your view slightly blocked here. Me, one kindly tries to move aside. Unfortunately, the cameras are just on a loop. Can he make this a three ball break? Here it is. He's going to... Oh, nowhere near. Oh, unless... No. So, a break of eight for me. One takes him up to calculating, calculating. Me, one, 12. Calculating. Me, two. Calculating. Uh, zero. That was me, one, right, that hit that, that got that break. Yeah, apparently so. So, me, two. At the hockey. He's got to be careful not to hit the pinky. He's going for this red. Oh, and a bit worried about the pink, and he's he's set up me one. Me one has no problem knocking that baby down into the abyss that of the pocket. But can he get a second ball in this time? He's going for the brown. Danger in off here, I would say. Oh, and uh, that's why I'm a commentator, and that's why me one isn't that good at snooker after all, because uh, he got a break of one, but he the white ball went in, the brown ball went in too, but it doesn't matter. Calculating, calculating, me one, 13, me two, four. So me two's back in this. Oh, he should have done better with that. He was trying to get up the board to get his own break of eight. Nice camber there, the beautiful camber. A lot of people complain about that camber, but that's what makes this game what it is. The challenge it is me one. He smashed it. Not in a good way. Me two. 
Can he screw up this chance? Yes, he can. Me one. Oh, me one misses an easy one. Me two has the easiest of shots now, surely. He will get this in and stop calling me Shirley. Just a little joke from airplane there, I've appropriated. Me too, can he get the pink? He's gonna try and double it. Oh, nearly goes in off. Doesn't though, and now me too creeping his way back into this game. He's up to five points and me one. Actually almost snookered here. He's going for this red. Oh, doesn't get it, me too. Oh, me two misses, me one set up, and me one hit it too hard. And me two has been, has got a, that was a, a, ch a chance to finish this off, me two. Oh, what a shot from me two. Best pot of the night. He's potted a red, can he pot a green? You know he can, what a crisp, clear shot. It jingled and jangled a little bit in the pocket, but it went down. Me too, currently on a break of four. Can he see the tonight's first three ball break? I don't think so, but let's see. Oh, he has a good go. Oh, 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 but I think he's got a snooker. And everything has happened here. Calculating, calculating, me one, 13, me two, nine. How are we feeling, commentator two? You bored? Bored. Me one, it's not a snooker. Me one can get this red easy and he's gonna pot it. I was wrong. Me two. Suddenly, I think the pendulum has swung. Me too, there's a chair behind him that's he's slightly getting in his way. But uh, he's got round that to pot the... Pot the red, but where will he go now? Can he get this black? It's possible. Oh, missed the black, but actually got it on the rebound, me too. I don't think that was on purpose. Me one. Needs to steady the shit with some points. There's one point. He's potted a red. Can he get this green? Oh, you know it. He's got a break of four as well. But me one, I think, is looking for something more than a break of four here. He'd like a break of five. He's got it. Three ball break. You don't see that too often. Now it's going to be tricky. He's up to five. Can he make it seven with the yellow into the centre pocket? Oh, what a shot. It's four balls. It's only seven points. It seems unfair. But he could make it a five ball break and eight points. And then who knows? It's a five ball break. It's eight points. And then who knows? Is he going to go for the pink or the brown? The brown slightly easier. He's got a six ball break, my fine friends. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points only. There's a red here. Can he pop this red for the first seven ball break? I think we've seen in active play. Oh, he hit it too hard, but oh, what a shot. It's gone somehow into the centre pocket. He's got a seven ball break. It's on 13 points. Can he get the blue for 18 points? Oh, it dances around the pocket. Oh, and me one could have seen the whole game off there. Me too is in trouble. He tries to just get a snooker, I think, but I don't think he's got it. Calculating, calculating, me one, 26, me two, 10. And me one has this game by the balls. I can't see me two winning this by 28, seven points. Oh, me one. I thought he'd missed, he has missed. I thought he'd, it was all over and it is. Me too, he's got a box right behind him. Oh, that given that that was a box right behind him shot, that was incredible. He's potted the yellow. Don't know what he was really going for with the green there, but he's actually, ooh. Me too. Moves up to 12. Me one, 26. Despite that amazing break. Oh no, chair's falling down. And me, that's put me one off a little bit. But me one has still potted the green, my fine friends. He's doubled it into the top pocket despite a chair falling on him as he tried the shot. Me, it's all going for me one today. Oh, misses the brown. Me one moves up to 29 points. Me two is on 12 points. There is 29 times minus 12. 
I mean, it's quite close, isn't it? 29 minus 12 must be 17 points between them. Yeah, that makes sense. And there's 22 on the board. Me too can still take this. Here comes me too. Not with play like that. <sighs> me one. It was his time. Surely it's his time. Yes, look at this. He's he's playing like the mat, the player. Six frames ahead. Oh, and this is quite an easy blue. After getting quite a difficult brown. He is 21 points ahead. There's 18 points on the board. Me too needs snookers. It's not over yet. Oh. Might be now. Me too's just gone in off. <clears throat> on the blue. Me one. Thinks he can pot this. And he's right. Oh, he's right. But unfortunately, he also potted the black. And that's all bets are off now. And never doubt Sybil. That's what I say. Seven points to me. Two. He still needs a snooker, unbelievably. And there's 19 points between these two players. Can me too play the snooker of his life now and get a snooker? So close, but I think me one can. No, it might be a snooker. No, me one got to it. Oh, me too has to be careful not to pop the blue here. They move for a snooker, he hasn't got it. Me one. Oh, hit it too hard. He was confident, but he might have got a snooker. He hasn't. Me too. That's just nothing. Me one. Is he going to double it? No. Me too. He's got to play carefully here. Can't pop this blue. Double kiss sees him all right. Me one though. This could be it. Me one confidently pots the blue. Confidently pots the pink. This is going to be a rout. Oh, just misses the black. A lovely 11 points for me one to end on. It ends 49, 19, 30 points. He was right about the, she was right about the score difference. Almost exactly 27, but the wrong player won for the pretty impressive Oracle Sybil. It's now 59, 65, no 64, 50, don't give them both a, a frame, that would be stupid. 59.64, there's only five frames in it. This match is back on. I think we can all agree that how very, very exciting this is. Back to you in the studio, Richard Keith Heron. Heron, thank you for that. Well, what a, what a night, a seven ball break. Uh, was it only 13 points? Seems unfair. I don't think we've seen a seven ball break before. Um. And I'd, I'd, let's first of all talk to Sybil. How was that, the prediction that me two would win by 27 points, but me one won by 30 points? How do you explain that? Ooh, all will become clear, my friends. When you, the world is over, you will see how right I was. Oh, do not dare question me, or I will come to your bedroom tonight, and I will eat your children. Well, controversial new correspondent Sybil there, um, seemingly angry about her so far zero out of three predictions. It's actually quite impressive to get all of them wrong. And maybe that's what she's doing and maybe that's why she's shown shit because to actually get them all wrong is as hard as getting them all right in the, in the mathematical sense. So maybe she's proving she knows, but she doesn't want people to get extra money from gambling. She's got the score pretty much exactly right. Twitch fun hopefully back on Thursday should be I'm a bit busy working on a book at the moment next week I should tell you um, that uh, I'm away in Wales uh, making a feature film which I'm starring um, which is uh, financed by the adverts from Rahalastapa Rahalastapa so thank you very much for listening to our podcast it means we can help to Jamie Adams make another of his fantastic films um and also, my, my wife has uh, had COVID all week. It's been uh, for... Uh, but she tested negative today, so I don't know what I'm doing hanging around here. We've been... One of us has had COVID for most of January. So let's hope February is a bit more lucky for 
potting a few balls, if you know what I mean. That's right, putting my balls. No. My ball in the you can when you've only got one you can put it places that that two wouldn't go. So you know, try don't knock it till you've tried it. Uh, so anyway, I'm keen to get back home so downstairs. I am home, <laughs> obviously. Um let's talk to me too about that terrible defeat. How are you feeling me too? Richard, I was outplayed. Um I uh Hope uh, Vladimir Putin does invade the Ukraine still. That's all I can take away from this. I'm sorry to hear about Tito Stagno, who's a great uh, journalist. I hope his family won't complain about this. But no, I I'd take that one on the chin. That was my fault. Didn't play well enough. Congratulations uh, to me, one. Playing fantastically well. Brilliant breaks. Could have got 18 at the end. Got that, what, 13 points? We went seven balls. That's insane. I mean, it's, it would be hard to get a Blake break that low with so many balls going down. But seven ball break, you know legendary it's a, been a legendary night and i'm a big enough man to admit when i've been well beaten and me one i don't like him i don't like his politics i don't like his the, the way he lives his life don't agree with any of it but any man who can pot seven balls in a row is my friend any man what if hitler did it yeah if um jimmy savile did it yeah if jimmy savile could pot seven balls in a row he's my friend that's that's my system of friendship he can't well he's dead I thought it was quite sad. Hitler's dead as well. I thought it was quite safe on that. Well, if anyone has footage of Jimmy Savile potting seven balls in a row, do send them in so that Me Too has to be his friend. Um, me One, how are you feeling? Yes! Fuck you, Me Too, you fucking lump of shit. How does it feel? Pretty bad, I expect. I didn't mind when you were beating me, but I expect now I've won one. You're feeling pretty shit. Yeah, only five frames between us now. So I'm coming back. I'm coming for you. I'm going to wipe your smile off your stupid, shit-eating face. And I hope you die. Oh, no, don't die, because then you'll have won. I hope you live long enough for me to win, and then you die, just at that point. Well, uh... Very gracious words from the defeated Me Too. Less gracious words from the winner Me One there. I'm not sure he can afford to be as arrogant as that, given uh, the, his current position. 64.59 down uh, in the overall frames. 130 frames played. Um, who knows how many more there will be. We keep on doing one a week for the rest of our lives. Could be 137 frames. Could it? Could go that high. So, um, just turn this off. If you enjoyed this, please don't tell your friends about it. Um, keep it as a secret. I know you will. Uh, and uh, don't watch this if this is your first uh, time here. You've got to go back to the beginning and listen to all the rest of them. Stay pretty constant at around 135 viewers this week. I think we can all be very pleased with that. Um, and um, Russia, watch out. One way or the other, you're going to stop. I don't know what you can do to keep, to keep the snooker going, but good luck in trying to do it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Twitch of fun on Thursday, I hope. I will do something. Sybil will be back in that. And um, I'll be back with this in a couple of weeks, but hopefully. And uh, yeah, from me and all the me's, I think I've done everything I need to do. Oh, let's just have a look at it. I'll just, I'll just help you date, update you on the football before we go. This will be especially good for people on the podcast. Um, wow, it's all happening in the Scottish Premiership where it's nil-nil to everyone except Livingston. St. John Livingston have equalised against St. Johnston. Just heading into half-time. Championship, Millwall nil, Preston nil, Swansea nil, Luton nil. League One, Wimbledon were ahead, I think, when they there now 2-1 down to Cheltenham. That's how football can change. Rotherham are 2 0 up at Doncaster. Uh, Gillingham 1 0 up against Crewe. Sheffield wins to Morecambe, still 0 0. Wigan and Oxford United 1 all. Uh, Bolton, Cambridge 0 0. Bradford 0. Leighton Orient 0. This is 43 minutes in. Colchester 0. Rochdale 0. Harrogate 0. Mansfield 0. Northampton 0. Barrow 0. Port Vale. The old Valers 1 0 up still. Salford 0. Carlisle 0. Swindon 0. Crawley. Cre old Creepy Crawley have got one in the, in the old onion bag. And uh, Tranmere nil, Stevenage nil. Uh, if you're interested, the National League South ended two one up at Barnet. Weymouth still beating their local rivals, Yeovil. Um, National League North, Chester nil, Brackley Town nil, Kettering one, Southport one, Kidderminster one, Leamington nil. And there's a goal in every one of the National League South games now. Dartford are one and up against Ebbsfleet. Dorking still beating Oxford City. Not a great night for Oxford. One of them's drawing, one of them's losing. Hampton and Richmond are down at Eastbourne Borough. Um, 
There's some Leon are losing one nil at Mar against Marseille. That's bad news. Uh, Averistwith versus Haver Haver Haverford West Coo. Don't know what that's short for. Uh, nil nil. The New Saints nil. Kevin Druids nil. That's in the Kaimru Premier and the Portuguese Primeira League Liga. Santa Clara one. Boa Vista nil. Uh, shame that Tito Stagno is not around to report on those matches. But he isn't to get over it. We'll see you around. Take care. Goodbye. From me and all the beasts. <laughs> what is this? What even is this?